Bonjour! It is our deepest pride and our greatest pleasure that we welcome you to Disneyland at Home. Oh, I'm not lit up. Hold on a second. Ah, there we go. Whoa, hey, who shut off the lights? Hey there you guys, Sean Allen here. Welcome to Disneyland at Home, Episode 4, My Disneyland Display, Part 2. Thank you, Lumiere, for that awesome introduction. If you guys have not seen Part 1 of this Disneyland Display, be sure to check out the annotation just popped up on the screen. We checked out all of the items here on My Disneyland Display. As you can see, there's a lot of, you know, stuff here. In today's episode, we're going to be checking out the stuff that's over here on this side of the display, plus the stuff up here, well, briefly, because I've already mentioned a lot of that stuff before on, in other videos. And I didn't mention it in the other video, but we're also going to look at this stuff and why it's up here on my bulletin board. And uh, we'll also check out this stuff down here. So there's a lot of stuff to cover, so let's go ahead and check out this display. And since we already saw him first, I'm going to just go ahead and talk about this guy right here, Lumiere Delight. This is actually something I got from the World of Disney store right there in downtown Disney. And it is a light. There is actually a little switch on the bottom where you can turn them on and off. Um, I believe it takes AA batteries, and this is a collector's item because... Um, it is a neat little item to have on your shelf. It provides a little bit of light, plus it flickers too, so um, it's really neat. When I saw it, I was like, I had to get this because um, I knew this was going to go like that because, of course, Beauty and the Beast is one of the most popular Disney movies ever made, and I was right. Within a few weeks of this thing be being sold at Disney, um, the, the Disney Park store, they were gone, literally. And uh, let's move on. Now, this may look like the Disneyland Tramp, but it's... Uh, it's close. These do look like the tram cars that you're able to like sit in. I say that because they have these little areas here that look like doors because the trams at Disneyland have the doors that open up and close. They didn't used to before. I guess people have been falling off the tram so they needed to provide some extra safety and uh, they provided doors on the trams. But this obviously is not the front of the tram. It actually looks more like the, the Mark V monorail but um it's still a cool tram, to be honest with you. I think this is what they used to look like, but personally, I believe this is the one from Walt Disney World because I've seen videos of the Walt Disney World trams. They look kind of similar to this, so um, it's still a cool piece. I got this on my first um, trip to Disneyland uh, for the vlog series, actually. Over here, we have an ornament of Captain Jack Sparrow that I actually found recently out in my garage, and I decided to put him up on display. And I guess since we're talking about pirates, we're going to move on to Pirates of the Caribbean, my section of Pirates of the Caribbean here. That's one of the special Disney pins, the Pirates of the Caribbean logo. That's that's kind of like the plaque they have right out in the front of the attraction. We have a pirate map here, and yes, one of the medallions right there. I actually have three. I only have two on display, but I do actually have three. Um, these are keys, like the ones that the dog has in his mouth. And this is actually my special pirate Mickey Mouse hat. And in the hat, we have the Disney pin. That's actually a medallion, but it's plat... Well, I think it's... It's kind of metal, but and like half plastic, half metal, but that's definitely metal, this one right here. Um, in case you want to know what the hat looks like, it's supposed to be Jack Sparrow. So moving on from Pirates of the Caribbean, we now head to Cars Land on the display. And this, of course, is obviously now a collector's item because this attraction is no longer at Disney California Adventure. It's the Luigi's Flying Tires hat. Yes, <laughs> it's supposed to be a tire, but it's actually a tire hat. Unfortunately, this hat doesn't really fit me, but it's still pretty cool. It's a nice little display item um, and inside the hat we have the special Christmas ornament from Cars Land. I saw this uh, last December actually and I thought it was kind of cute and I got it and on top of the hat we have Tinkerbell. You'll notice that along the display here we have several of the Disney Infinity characters I specifically placed along certain areas of the display. We have Tinkerbell here, um, here's Mulan, there's Merida, that's Aladdin and Jasmine, there's Tron, um, What's his girlfriend's name? Um, Cora, I do have her in here, which we'll see later on. So right here, you guys have already seen this. This is my miniature CK Holiday train. This was really expensive. It was like 150 bucks, And uh, it's very, very tiny. It's basically one of those little remote, not remote control, but it's like... Um, it's a, a train that you can run on like one of those electrical train sets. It's really a nice little piece. I brought this with me in my latest Disneyland video. It's the Disneyland uh, Railroad video with the E.P. Ripley and the Fred Gurley. I wish the the engine was there, but unfortunately it wasn't. It was actually being refurbished and restored at a different location. So hopefully the next time I go back to Disneyland, I'll see this um, up close and in person. But it's really a nice little piece that I got. 
Um, I don't think they're selling this anymore, which is kind of sad because it's a nice little trinket. But again, it's really expensive. Here we have the Disney California Adventure pin. It used to be in there, but I decided to put the Cars Land ornament in there instead. This, of course, I mentioned this many times when I've been to the Star Tours um, shop. It's the R2-D60. This is the 60th anniversary limited edition Star Wars droid that they made specifically for, this, for the 60th anniversary. And they still have plenty of these things in the store. So pick one up. These are really cool. These are collector's items. See? Look at that. Limited time. Can you see that? Uh, sort of. But it's right there on the, the package there. That, of course, is the Han Solo Carbonite bucket that I got when I did my special Mealtime It Is On episode at the Tomorrowland Terrace with BB-8 right there. That's when I got the first order specialty burger and... <laughs> oh, here's my driver's license for Autopia. Yeah, can't forget about that one. Now we're obviously in Tomorrowland. Uh, we got the special Moonliner rocket. I always mention this when I'm in the star... Uh, excuse me, the Disney store over there in downtown Disney. This is actually the prop that they had in their display case that they were using to display like the, the different types of, of um, miniature buildings that they had on display and for purchase and this was the only one they had in stock so <laughs> they actually let me have this one so that was really nice of them and it's being guarded by two stormtroopers from the first order the flame trooper and the regular stormtrooper I got these right around the time when they were released and um, I haven't seen any of these since I've only seen the Imperial uh, TIE Fighter, so or not Imperial, I mean the First Order TIE Fighter. i got to remember that now. And of course we can't have the First Order or the Empire without the TIE Fighters. That's the Darth Vader TIE Advanced. I did not get that at Disneyland. I got actually got that at Target. I got all three of these from Target. I think I got that from Target as well, the TIE Fighter. But you notice something very interesting. This one has the Rebel Alliance logo. I don't know why they put that there. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a weird one, but I put it there. Then we have Space Mountain here with some glow-in-the-dark rocks. This is a special monorail pin, and what's really cool about this one, they still sell this, but what's kind of funny is that, you notice there's only one thing about this pin that's inaccurate about Disneyland right now. You Can you guess what it is? You notice there's the Matterhorn here. This is the Grizzly Peak Mountain right here. That's still there. There's the Disneyland Castle, but what's this right here? That's the Golden Gate Bridge from Disney California Adventure, and they're still selling these in the store, and it still has the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> I just find that hilarious because, you know, they since, you know, built Buena Vista Street and don't they don't have the the Golden Gate Bridge. So I think that's still kind of a fun little tribute for Disney California Adventure, the old retro Disney California Adventure, I guess I should say. We have a couple of pin, uh, pins here. We got two of the Disneyland Hotel pins I got. And this is a special one or one Dalmatians uh, pin that I found actually on the ground somewhere. I can't remember where it was, but yeah, I found it. I was like, hey. You know, add to my collection. And this, of course, is from the Tomorrowland movie. This isn't the official Tomorrowland pin, but it's it's very close. I actually found this one day, only one day when I was at the, um, what was it, the Emporium there on Main Street. And that was like the only time I ever saw that pin. So I was like, you know what, pick it up, get it. Was it the Emporium or was it World of Disney Store? I think it was the, yeah, it was the Emporium. And I decided to get this because I was a, I really liked the movie, so I wanted to get the pin, obviously. So there it is. There is the pin. And, yeah. <laughs> and speaking of more of the Tomorrowland stuff, here is the Mark V monorail toy that I actually have from many years ago. I got this when I was 13, I think. Now, what's interesting is that this says it's the Walt Disney World monorail system. But it's... <laughs> got this from Disneyland. This was like around 50 bucks. I believe I got the Mark 7 monorail for about 50 bucks as well, so it's not really that much of a price change, but this says Walt Disney World, but I got this at Disneyland, so I don't know why they said it was Walt Disney World and it's supposed to be from Disneyland, but anyways, it's got five cars. It doesn't have six like the other monorails do in Walt Disney World, but um, yeah, I got that from Disneyland, but it says Walt Disney World. Eesh, interesting. Then next up we have, I believe I've shown this in one of my other videos, this is my special medallion, or medal, lanyard medal from Disneyland for the 60th anniversary. Those are very rare to find nowadays. Well, actually not really so rare because every once in a while when I go to the World of Disney store in downtown Disney, I still see these being sold. It depends on how much they have left. And right next to that, or behind it actually, is my 2013 hat from Disneyland. And on this hat I actually have a couple of pins from the... Uh, the Treasures of the Walt Disney Archives event that I went to at the Ronald Reagan Library. This is a really cool one. It has the black and white Mickey from Steamboat Willie and the regular everyday Mickey that we see nowadays. And on the other side, I believe it's the other side, yes, look at this. It's a Nautilus pin! Yeah, that's the Nautilus being attacked by a squid. 
you can't find this anywhere in Disney parks because it was only sold at the Ronald Reagan Library, which was pretty cool. Okay, so as you all know, I like Star Wars. There's a little Star Wars display down here, but here's more <laughs> up here. We got the X-Wing, Snow Speeder, Y-Wing. This is one of my larger Millennium Falcons. There's like three Millennium Falcons here. There's a probe droid. There's a big TIE fighter there. There's another X-Wing right here, just wedged here to the side. Then over here we have my small Walt Disney World display, but these items, not all of them are from Walt Disney World. Only two actually came from Walt Disney World. These two here, the Epcot um, Spaceship Earth, and this unfortunately, the Ears Tower from, Walt, uh, from Disney Hollywood Studios, but this actually says Disney MGM Studios back in the day when it was, you know, actual studio. Then, of course, we have the eggs from my special egg hunt from last year. And, thankfully, we're going back to do a 2016 edition. So, that's going to be a lot of fun. And, a big surprise in that one. I'll let you guys know when those videos come out. Um, then, we have little figures from Walt Disney World. You see the, the Tree of Life right there from Disney Animal Kingdom. we got some attractions from um, Disney Hollywood Studios and more from Animal Kingdom. And, I think, mostly from Animal Kingdom and... Um, Hollywood Studios. Then right next door we have my special album collection and games specifically about the Disneyland Resort. Well, some of them, but this is the Star Wars Force Awakens album. I really like this one. This is the Saving Mr. Banks Collector's Edition. I got this from Disneyland. So here is Fantasmic. This is the Disneyland Park and Disney Hollywood Studios versions of the classic Fantasmic show. Here we have the album from Pirates of the Caribbean. Haunted Mansion. This is a story from the Haunted Mansion, and guess who's in this one? One of the narrators is Ron Howard. Yeah, believe it or not. This was actually my first Disney album from uh, Disneyland. This is from the 50th anniversary. I got this from off of Amazon. Um, very small album, but it's pretty good. That was my very first album. Then next we have this one, Disneyland Resort official album. This is a very cool one. Then we have the latest one. <laughs> I got a different one, but it's the latest one with a lot of the changes with Cars Land. This one didn't have Cars Land. And then this is the latest edition, the 60th anniversary edition, the Legacy Collection. And this one has a lot more than this one. This actually has three CDs. So, <laughs> disc one, two, and three. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Really good album. If you guys have not purchased this, go and purchase I highly recommend this one. Um, if you can't find this one, but find this one, it's just as good. Uh, there's a lot of repeats in these, but you know what? If you want to get the latest one, definitely get the Legacy Collection. And now going from albums to games, this is the Disney Infinity 3.0 edition. I got it for a PS4. I got that for Christmas this last year. Uh, this is not a uh, game. This is actually a documentary about the Disney parks. Many of the Disney parks. Disneyland, Walt Disney World, and other parks around the world. And then this is actually an Xbox game, the Kinect, the Disneyland Adventures game. Uh, <laughs> what's really cool about this one, check this out. Um, like with all Disney parks, you have to have a special map. Well, even the game has a map of their version of Disneyland for the game. So check it out. There is the map version of the game. <laughs> that is awesome. There's Tomorrowland. There's Main Street. Here's Adventureland, New Orleans Square. Critter Country, Frontierland, Fantasyland, Mickey's Toontown, and then, of course, they... I think they really need to update this game because now that they own Star Wars, they could actually put in Star Tours and Indiana Jones, but unfortunately, you can't go on those in the uh, game because they weren't owned by Disney at the time. But they should make an updated version of this and add Disney California Adventure, plus... You know, when Star Tours, or excuse me, Star Wars Land comes in, they can add in Star Wars Land right in there. That'd be pretty cool. But of course, they kind of already did that with Disney Infinity, so I think we're good right now. What I meant by them adding uh, Star Wars to Disney Infinity, I meant by basically they added the characters to the game. Because when Disney Infinity first started, they were only adding characters from their Disney movies like Mickey Mouse, Olaf, um, Aladdin, Merida, all these other characters and the Pixar characters, Buzz, Woody, Mr. Incredible, the Monsters, Inc. characters, Cars, you know, all those characters. And then when they got Star Wars, they added their Star Wars characters and also the Marvel characters, you know, Spider-Man, the Hulk, um, many of the Avengers characters, and some of the villains, Venom, Loki, the Green Goblin, well, the one from the Ultimate version of Spider-Man. Recently, they've added Ultron and... What's the other villain they have that they just released? I can't remember what his name is. We did get the Kylo Ren, Poe, and... Was it Poe? Yeah, Poe and Finn and Rey. We got those characters. Pretty soon here we'll be getting the 
updated versions of Han Solo and some of the other Disney Infinity characters for Star Wars. And um, I'm pretty sure we'll be getting more, you know, Disney characters. I I submitted my su uh, suggestions for characters I think they should add in, like Peter Pan, Alice, Mad Hatter. I even added in some characters that I think they should, you know, introduce to Disney Infinity since they are actually, you know, the retro characters like Davy Crockett, Zorro. You know, those type of characters from, you know, the live-action version movies. Because they they have actually added a couple of characters to Disney Infinity that were from the live-action movies. For example, like the Lone Ranger and Tonto. And, of course, Jack Sparrow and <clears throat> Captain Barbosa. So they do have some live-action characters in the, the Disney Infinity universe, but not a whole lot. So I think if they add maybe Davy Crockett, that'd be pretty cool. I don't think it'll ever happen, but maybe. It'll be a nice little tribute to Fest Parker. Oh, I did also submit that they should make a figure for... Walt Disney! Come on, Disney Infinity. I know I have a voice in that little universe, so please make a Walt Disney figure. If not, then, you know, go for David Crockett. I don't really care. And in my last game, I know I've mentioned this one in the past, this is my Toy Story Mania game for the Wii. Uh, this is basically like the game, or the attraction at Disneyland and, I believe, uh, Disney Hollywood Studios, but uh, it's for the Wii. They aren't selling this anymore. I think you can find it on Amazon for, I don't know, maybe a few bucks or something. But it's a fun little game. It, it can be played in 3D. It doesn't have the 4D effects, unfortunately. But you can play it in 3D with the special 3D glasses. Uh, it's really a fun game. So if you if you like playing the attraction at Disneyland, but you don't have time to go there to play it, definitely get a Wii and the game. And it is a lot of fun. It's kind of like playing the attraction, but you're playing it at home. So moving on now to my souvenir cups, which are right up here, but my very first one is actually right here. That's my uh, souvenir cup that I got when I was seven, I think, at the, uh, I think it was the Hungry Bear restaurant up here. I have mentioned about this display before in one of my episodes of Meal Time Disneyland. You can check it out in the link down below in the description of this video or the annotation right there. Uh, but very quickly, that's my Cars Land cup that I actually got from the refreshment corner. There's the Fantasy Fair cup or mug, the soup in a cup cup, <laughs> the boot mug, that's my crystal castle puzzle, 3D castle, crystal castle puzzle, that's kind of a tongue twister right there, my world of color cup, the Danico mug, and the Disneyland Stein, and of course we can't forget these two up here, these are really cool, the BB-8 droid mug, or souvenir cup, and the poison apple souvenir cup. Right down here we have the Disney Infinity Mickey and Minnie, here's the light up Millennium Falcon, the X-Wing, there's the Disney Infinity Olaf, and the light-up Death Star. And last but not least, this is Olaf that I got from the E3 Expo from a couple of years ago now, uh, when I got invited by Disney Infinity to check out Disney Infinity 3.0. So, uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Now, moving on down to this section here, don't worry, we'll get to the other figures in here in just a minute, but... There is a small section down here of little items here, actually big items as you can see. Uh, very quickly, let's go over here. Let's just look at this stuff over here. These are my two Kylo Ren lightsabers. Uh, this is the one I've got from Disneyland from the hotel. This is the one that lights up and makes a sound effect. That's my first Kylo Ren right behind it. First Kylo Ren lightsaber that I got from the Disneyland, or excuse me, the Spirit Halloween store back around Halloween time. Um, the light doesn't work that much anymore, but it's still kind of a cool little prop. That's my Anakin Skywalker toy. And this, of course, as you can see, is Thor's hammer. Yes, I can turn into Thor now. So... <clears throat> oh, that's weird. I'm able to pick that up sometimes, but it doesn't want to be picked up today. Oh, well. Then down here, we have my PS4. Yes, I got this for Christmas last year. It's the Battlefront Edition from Star Wars. And it's, the, it's a cool edition because it came with not one, but two, but five games. Some games, some of these games are actually very old. We have the original Star Wars game from the Super Nintendo. Yes, I actually played the Super Nintendo version game on the PS4. This is Star Wars Racers Revenge, the Bounty Hunter game, and the Jedi Starfighter. So, really cool games. Then up here we have the E3 Expo Edition Disney Infinity characters that I got. This is the Rise Against the Empire playset that I got from Disney Infinity. Um, they, that's Han Solo and Chewie. And I have not opened these up because these are exclusive because these were released way before the game was released and even the figures. So um, I've never really opened these up. I probably never will. I do actually have these two um, figures again when I got the special edition PS4 version of the Disney Infinity game. I actually got these two figures again along with the Death Star plus Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano and the Bounty Hunter, which I'll show you guys in a minute. The Bounty Hunter being, of course, 
Boba Fett. So down here we have the Disneyland Railroad train set. We got the two cars here for passengers. We got the tender car there. We got the engine. This this exact same train can be seen in the Disneyland uh, station right there in Main Street or the D Main Street station. The exact same train is in this display case. These are, of course, Mickey Mouse's shoes. These are actually slippers. You guys have probably seen this, these exact same slippers in my special live chat from the Disneyland Hotel. There's the Bounty Hunter gun. Well, that's actually Django Fett's Bounty Hunter gun. I used to have a costume that came with the gun. You can actually see this in one of my special Star Wars videos that I used recently. I actually had to fish this out of the garage. <laughs> it took me a while to find it, but I found it. I actually have a Star Tours gun somewhere out in the... Um, the, the, in my, either my shed or the garage, but I can't find it for some reason. As you're all aware, Disneyland no longer sells guns, and now they're collector's items, you know, like the Star Tours guns, the Han Solo gun, the, I believe they had the, um, the Chewy gun, so, yeah, unfortunately, they're no longer selling guns. Speaking of guns, right back there is my special Davy Crockett rifle, the old Betsy. That's actually a Narnia sword. Yes, believe it or not, this was... Peter's sword from the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. This is from, again, the Halloween store. I had to have the sword. You guys remember the Narnia films that came out a number of years ago? I have a lot to say about those films. So if you want me to do a special movie review about the movies, you know, the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian, and even Voyage of the Dawn Treader, leave the comments down below, like the video, and let me know, because I have a lot to say about those films. I'm actually a big fan of the Narnia series, and... I was really uh, impressed with what they did with Narnia, and I have a lot to say about those films. So again, if you want me to make a review about those movies, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know that you guys want to see that, or leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. That, of course, is my Davy Crockett coonskin cat, which I thought they stopped selling, but they're obviously still selling it. So, yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny. And then this, <laughs> my, my parents are funny. Uh, this Christmas, they also got me these limited edition soup cans that actually, that actually, these are still filled with soup, but they're the Star Wars editions. Look at this. The, the, the shapes are still the same in every single one. It's Stormtrooper, Death, uh, excuse me, Darth Vader, R2-D2, and Yoda, but they have different characters on them. We have Darth Vader, there's... The Stormtrooper, Yoda, C-3PO, R2-D2, and Chewie. I don't know if they've released any other ones lately, but I don't think so. But yeah, they got those for me for Christmas. How funny, right? And then, of course, we have the Mark 7 monorail, the red edition. I know they have an orange edition. I'm still waiting for a blue edition. Come on, Disney. Make the blue one, please, because that one's featured in my videos. Um, so yeah, that's the Mark 7 monorail. And now that we've checked out these items down here, let's check out the... Disney Infinity characters that I have here in my display. So give me one second because there's a ton of them. I have to figure out which ones to put on display first. Well, there they are. <laughs> this is the rest of my Disney Infinity collection. There's so many characters. I've got an army of Disney characters at my disposal, literally. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this over with. There's the cast of Inside Out right there. That's where I have them all. There's, oh, that's ironic. Look at this. Anakin Skywalker with Darth Vader. There's Yoda. Like, that totally wasn't planned. <laughs> uh, there's Yoda. That's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Stitch. Korra from Tron Legacy. There's Buzz. And I'll get to these guys in a second. We have Venom here. There's Darth Maul. And I can't remember what his name is, Sean. Put it in the video down below. Uh, that's Leah and Luke. There's Boba Fett right there. This is the exclusive Boba Fett, Boba Fett figure that I got from the PS4 right down there for Disney Infinity, which was pretty awesome. It's it's not even being sold outside of the PS4 edition. So, exclusive. Uh, there is Ahsoka Tano. Hey, Ahsoka. And I think it's Kanan, I think his name is. And then back here we have the Avengers. Yes, the Avengers. I don't have the other characters like... Um, Nick Fury, or what's the other one? Um, Falcon. I might get those later on. We have Iron Man. <laughs> I tempted to, I'm tempted to say Mega Iron Man, kind of like the Mega Zord, but uh, it's actually Hulkbuster. Uh, then we have Thor, Captain America. There's the Hulk, Hawkeye, Black Widow, and of course Loki. Uh, then back, then right here we have 
So the Guardians of the Galaxy, we have Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> then, of course, we have these other items here from Disney Infinity. This is for the Lone Ranger set. This is from the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, and the Star Wars series. So, yeah, that's all cool stuff. Ignore the stuff that's in the background here. This is all my scientific stuff. Well, uh, Professor Boyle Kim. And that's basically the Disney Infinity Collection. And that section of the Disney display is, go you know, complete. Oy. And then we have this section right here. It just continues, doesn't it? That right there is my special Lily Bell ticket that I got from the conductor at Main Street. That is actually a photo of me entering an X-Wing. No, well, not really. <laughs> they actually swapped my face with Luke's, uh, they actually swapped Luke Skywalker's face with my face. That's actually a photo from Knott's Berry Farm when I was with the cast from their stunt show, and one of the guys, um, this guy right here, gave me this bullet there from his gun. Yes, I've got a rifle there. <laughs> uh, right there we have the Adventureland Juju Quest stuff. Well, it wasn't really called Adventureland Juju Quest, but I, it was the Juju Quest they had uh, about two to three years ago. No, two years ago at uh, in Adventureland. And that was a lot of fun. I have a special video about that. It's almost an hour long. It's Well, actually, it is an hour long, but still, it's a lot of fun. There's one of the decoders right there that I got from the 20th anniversary of the ride. Yes, they re-released those for that special event. Uh, then we have the special candy cane display item for the days when they were selling candy canes in Main Street. One of the cast members gave me that. This is my special pilot certificate from the Mark Twain. And that is a map of the Jungle Cruise. Right above here, we have special 60th anniversary pins from Disneyland. There's my diamond pin. That's the D pin. That's a special edition pin. We got more special edition pins. This is a really cool one because it actually has little diamonds inside of it. That's pretty cool. 60th anniversary and the castle right there. So, oh, and one other thing. Look at this on the side of my display over here. I forgot to show this in the first video, but look at that. Please stand clear of the door. <laughs> it's supposed to go in front of a door, but I just thought it was funny. And uh, I had to get this one. It was really cool. All right, you guys know me. I love collecting comics. Well, here's my special Disney comic collection right here. This right here, my friends, is probably my... No, maybe it's not one of my old... Well, I guess it is my oldest. This is a special Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse comic from the 1940s, 1950s. Ten cents. Normally, comic books nowadays run from $2.99 to $3.99. And if you're getting a special edition, it's probably $7 or $8.99. Ridiculous. But look at that. Ten cents. For the Mickey Mouse comic, this wasn't ten cents. I think this was nine. This was ten bucks because this is a rare comic. I got to keep a very, you know, close eye on this one. It's very rare. That's a Dunduk uh, comic that I got. This is one of two comics that I got from Tron, uh, the original movie adaptation right there, especially from the first Tron movie. Then I have not all five, but three issues from Seekers of the Weird. I may have to get the graphic novel for this to, to find out what happens in between uh, one and four here. But there's Seekers of the Weird from Disney Kingdoms. Then we have, oh, that's Kingdom uh, Figment 2. This is Figment 1 over here. I only found the first three, but I, I missed out on the last two. But there's Figment there. This, I believe, was not released by Disney, but this is Frozen, the story of the movie in comics. Uh, yeah, this is basically the movie in a comic book format, so <laughs> if you don't have the movie, you can get the comic book, and that's obviously not, no longer being sold. This, my friends, is my favorite of the Disney Kingdom series for the comics. This is Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Now, I thought I lost this one, so, um, actually, I think I got this one from Disneyland, so I kept this one sealed up, but I found the second, uh, version, or the second copy of the first... Um, issues. So I actually have two issues here of the same, you know, type. Uh, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, yes. There it is. Two, three, four, and five. Really, really big fan of this series. I wish they could come out with a, you know, sequel to this like they're doing with Figment over here. I got all five of the Figment comics here. Really good series, but I was especially, I especially enjoyed the Big Thunder Mountain series. And I know I mentioned this a few uh, months ago about what other comics they could make for Disney Kingdoms. One of them was, uh, one of the items that I suggested was the Haunted Mansion. Well, guess what? They're doing it! They're actually making a special comic book series about the Haunted Mansion. Specifically about the ghosts. The 999 Happy Haunts from the Haunted Mansion. So, yes, they actually listened. They actually listened to people. Can you believe that? And they're making a comic book series about the Haunted Mansion. I'm really excited about it. I, I've already seen some of the images and some of, not really the pages, but some of the characters. They look awesome. I think you guys are really going to like this series. So if you like the Haunted Mansion as much as I do, you're really going to like the Haunted Mansion. So 
Um, the, the issues come out in March. The first issue comes out in March, so if you have a comic book store nearby, if you really like Disney stuff, go and check out the Haunted Mansion comic book series. That's going to be a lot of fun. I don't, I don't really know if it's going to tie into the movie that's coming out later on in the future, but who knows. But it's a story about the ghosts, so um, really looking forward to it. It really, really looks good. Uh, last but not least, oh wait, I actually missed one. This is about Space Mountain. I haven't completely finished this yet, but there are references in here relating to Tomorrowland. Like, obviously, there's Space Mountain. They actually have the Astro Orbiters in here, the Moonliner rocket. You know, the Moonliner rocket that's right over here. Yes, that's actually one of the, their vehicles that they used in the comic book series, which I think is hilarious. And, um, let's see what else. They also have uh, the Walt Disney World version of the Space Mountain attraction. And I think there's something else in there, too, that... I wouldn't say it's a connection with the Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, but if you look really carefully at this blaster here, it looks like the blaster from the Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, which I think is just funny. So, in a way, they're combining a lot of stuff from Tomorrowland into this comic. It's a really interesting story. Kind of weird, but... Um, it's a good attempt to try to give the Space Mountain attraction a little bit of a backstory. Plus, if you guys have seen Tomorrowland the movie, you've already seen Space Mountain on the ground, not in space. But it's still kind of fun to, to see. And, um, yeah. Last but not least, we have this. My mom got me this for Christmas a number of years ago. This is a special collection of Mickey Mouse comic strips. I'm not sure exactly... That was my wrist. Ouch. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how many comic strips are in here. There's got to be at least over maybe, I don't know, 100, maybe 200. It's really cool to have all these comics and just, you know, see the history of Disney right here in comic book form. And it's fun to see them making, a, you know, comic books about the attractions because, as we all know, Figment is from the Figment of Imagination attraction over in, uh, I believe it's Epcot. Secrets of the Weird was originally about the Haunted Mansion, which is kind of like what Walt Disney had an idea of for the Haunted Mansion for some of the items. They actually were featured in the comic book series. Uh, let's see here. Big Thunder Mountain, obviously Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Um, and of course, the Haunted Mansion, that's going to be coming out. That's really cool. Again, other comic book ideas that they should make for the comic book series, into a comic book series. Expedition Everest, and what was the other one? Oh yeah, uh, the Hollywood Tower Hotel, or Tower of Terror, which they're actually making another movie of. Um, if you guys haven't seen the one with um, Kristen Dunst and I forget what the other guy's name is, um, it's okay. It's, they they release that movie every year for Halloween as like a kid movie for Halloween. So it's it's not it's not spooky. It's it's it is a little bit, but it's still kind of fun. It's a Disney movie. They don't make anything stupid or graphic, right? <laughs> and last but not least, this contains a lot of my memorabilia from Disneyland and Disney Cover Adventure. That again, 2016 man, it's coming very soon. Yep. Uh, this is actually 2015, not 2016. This is the Star Tours back for the um, Star Speeders, which are no longer being sold at Disneyland, which is sad. Look at this. I still have the bag from when I got those chips from the <laughs> Rancho Dos Zocalo, Zocalo restaurant. <laughs> That's hilarious. There's my Disney map. By the way, people are still asking me about how do I find all the pennies. It's because of this thing. And where do you find this? You find this at the cashiers right there at the front near the penny machines. Just ask for one. They'll give you one. That's one of my tickets for the Treasures of the Walt Disney Archives at the Reagan Library. This is my old wallet that I don't use anymore, unfortunately. It's my penny collection. I have three of these. All of my parking tickets that I got from Disneyland. Don't worry, these are not like parking tickets from the police. Um, David Crockett book that I got from a neighbor. Several memorabilia books. This is the Haunted Mansion uh, edition, you know, with the, the attraction and the movie. Um... The first 30 years of Disneyland, and there's my train book about the Disneyland Railroad. Got Walt Disney Imagineering book down here. Several, many, many issues, I should say, from the, the Buena Vista Bugle, and a special comic book collection from Disney Comics about Snow White, Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, and a comic book, a comic series with the Seven Dwarves and Dumbo. Yeah, they actually did it. They actually put... The Seven Dwarfs in a comic with Dumbo. <laughs> and guess what? He talks in the comic. <laughs> it's, it's just weird. 
Anyways, that's my collection, you guys. That is my entire Disneyland collection. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, favorite the video, share your friends, and of course, subscribe to my channel, the Disneyland Video Series. And if you have a com if you ugh, I was gonna say if you have a comic series, <laughs> uh, collection, uh, if you have a special Disneyland collection, what do you guys have in your collection? I like to know. Um, and if you have some of these other items I have on display. Let me know, because some of these are actually collectors. Oh, you know what? Wait a second. Hold on. There's one little item I completely forgot to show you guys. I'm pretty sure you've been saying, what about this item? That light bulb right there is from the original Disney's Main Street Electrical Parade. That's a clear light bulb from one of the floats. I don't exactly know which um, uh, float it came off of. I'm kind of guessing it may have come from the, the, the Blue Fairy from... Pinocchio. It may have come from that float because I know she has a lot of clear lights on hers, but I don't really know. But um, that is a clear light, one of the original uh, lights from the original Main Street Electrical Parade that was actually sent to me as a gift, which was very awesome. And okay, so now you guys have seen my entire Disney collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you guys want me to talk about the Narnia movies, Leave it a comment down below and let me know if you guys want me to share my thoughts about them or not. But uh, that's it for the video, guys. And if you haven't seen part one, check out the annotation that will be coming up later on in the end slate. And that's it. All right, everybody. Thanks, thanks a lot for watching. See you guys next time here on the Disneyland Video Series. Bye!